I feel like Game of Thrones is going to go down in history as one of the greatest shows of all time. You know, you know, we see those lists. We see Soprano. We see The Wire. Do you agree? I'd like to think so. I, th I think you never really know if a show can be considered a classic until you've got that distance from it. It's about whether a show can still be a good show in 10 years, 20 years. Sopranos, one of my favorite shows, is 20 years old this year. And people are still watching it for the first time and, and rediscovering it. And it is a classic show because it bears rewatching. And even people who start watching it now, they love it as much as people who started watching it 20 years ago. So I think it's hard to assess the legacy of a show like that until you've got that distance from it. But I've got every faith. I, and I think one of the great reasons why that is possible is because our show's not set in any time that's recognizable. I mean, shows date from the 70s and 80s and 90s. But because our show's not set in any specific place and time, it's going to be kind of have an incredibly long lifespan because of that, I think. Your character has remained one of the kindest, I feel like most honest characters throughout this, uh, the eight, now eight seasons. Yeah, eight seasons. And I'm, I'm very nervous and I don't want that to change. Do you think, is it possible that it could? What, Sam being kind? Change to being evil. I don't want him to be evil. Well, I think, I think, do you know what? People, people see Samwell as this kind of beacon of goodness in amongst all this kind of violence and all the kind of treachery that goes on. But I think one thing that people are in danger of forgetting is Samwell's got a really manipulative side to him. And if Sam wants something, he doesn't mind lying, he doesn't mind conning his way, he doesn't mind manipulating situations to get there. So I think you may see over the course of this series that Sam. You know, he, he doesn't mind stitching a few people up, even a few people that are close to his heart sometimes. He doesn't mind causing for others, causing trouble for others, if it means that he and Gilly and Baby Sam are going to be safe. Do you think it's because of the smile that I didn't even notice that? Because I would never have called Sam manipulative, ever. Oh, yeah. Well, if you think about the times he's manipulated Jon Snow, so many times he, he's made Jon Snow do a complete 180 about his opinions. He manipulated the entire Night's Watch to vote for Jon Snow as Lord Commander. So he's well capable of getting his own way if he feels that... He's, he's governed by his morals. He doesn't really care for rules and regulations. He's governed by his own moral compass, and he's willing to break the rules in order to adhere to his own moral code. Real quick, last question. Who do you think deserves to win Game of Thrones? Deserves, from a fan perspective. I don't think anybody, really. Davos. Davos Seaworth, I think. Okay. I think he's a man who's got his heart in the right place. He's experienced a lot. He knows a lot about people, and he's very wise. If there's one person who deserves it, He's the guy. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Never miss a video.